Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, how to replace the Selenium rectifier in a Honda CT90. Uh, this is the 6 volt system. Um, I'm using for this uh, particular purpose a, a bridge rectifier, a, a MB2505. That is Mike Bravo 2505. Um, what this is, it's a, um, a bridge rectifier. Um, it is going to take the place of the selenium rectifier. Uh, this will pass a lot more amps. Um, and as you can see, it's in a very compact size. Uh, these are very reliable, but I guess it. Uh, uh, low power outputs, uh, they falter a little bit, they get real hot, um, the technology is a lot older than this. So without boring you with a whole bunch of details, um, uh, it's quite simple. Uh, there's only three wires that we're going to have to worry about. Um, we'll go ahead and Remove the rectifier, there's two bolts. Um, obviously you want to disconnect the power from the battery. Uh, you can leave the battery in, but just disconnect the uh, power wire from the battery. Okay, um, there are uh, three wires that go to the rectifier. You have a pink wire, you have a, uh, a white wire with the red stripe or a red stripe with the white wire, I'm not sure which that goes, and you have a yellow wire. Um, that's the only real worries that you have there. Um, I've already made the harness for this, um, and I'll go through uh, what the wires are. Uh, the yellow wire um, is one side of the AC input. Uh, the, it creates AC, uh, the, the, the stator makes AC power uh, to charge the battery. Well, it puts it through this rectifier in order to make the power to charge the battery. It comes out of this rectifier DC power. That's what a rectifier does. It takes AC power and makes it DC or vice versa. Um, okay, secondary to that, we'll have a pink wire this one's red, but it, it, it's pink. Um, and we have the uh, red and white striped wire. And uh, the ground is made through the uh, negative terminal on the rectifier. Um, so the, the rectifier um, has three terminals that um, kind of go the same direction. So you'll have the AC leads are kind of in the north-south direction in this attitude. Uh, the ground, uh, the green, also is in that attitude. The positive DC wire is turned at 90 degrees to that. So it's uh, really easy to see which one will be the power wire. Uh, the power wire goes directly to the battery. Um, there is no um, a break in the wire other than this connection. So um, this goes directly to the battery. The pink uh, goes to the, the, the stator, uh, as does the yellow. And uh, that completes the AC circuit. The DC circuit it will be um, this red and white striped wire and the green wire. I hope I made that clear. Um, so um, in this arrangement, um, you, you could make a bracket if you felt like it uh, to mount the rectifier um, if you felt like drilling the center out a little bit bigger you could uh, take this uh, apart and use this actual stud um, i don't see why that would be a problem either um, i'm going to opt to go directly into the frame and um, i'm using a number 13 drill bit kind of already marked out where i want it right here we'll need a 
Allen wrench here to install this. Just a second here. All right. So um, the uh, center stud will provide the ground for this. thing and uh, I went ahead and uh, tightened this thing down um, so it's basically in the place that I want it uh, now all I have to do is disconnect the selenium rectifier and uh, connect in this uh, other rectifier um, so we got yellow we got pink and we got the striped one so there is the old rectifier so I'm going to hook in the yellow wire, I'm going to hook in the pink wire, there it is. and then we're going to hook in the battery power. And uh, after you hook uh, the battery back up and uh, ground it to the frame, um, that completes the rectifier upgrade and um, uh, you'll get smoother output uh, from the, uh, the alternator and uh, lights will stay a little brighter and uh, all of that. So I hope that uh, little tip helps out. Thanks for watching.